All right, everyone, we are going to write the formula for the following ionic compounds. These are all binary, so that means that it's only going to be two elements that are put together to make the compound. So for instance, our first example is going to be lithium chloride. So our first element is lithium, and its chemical symbol is Li. Okay, it comes first because it is the metal and chlorine or chloride which ends eyed because it's essentially saying hey it's only what's in front which is chlorine chlorine is cl so for ionic compounds we need to know the charges of each of these elements by themselves to make our formula if we go to the periodic table if we look for lithium we see that it is right here in the first column. All metals in the first column are going to become positive one. So lithium by itself, when it forms a compound, becomes positive one. Chlorine, if we go back and look at the periodic table, is right here. All elements in this column become a negative one. So chlorine is a negative one. And because they're both ones, we don't actually write those. So we just have a plus sign and a negative sign. So ionic compounds have to be neutral. So if I put lithium and chlorine together, a positive one and a negative one together, I only need one of each to make lithium chloride to make a neutral compound. So our formula is going to be LiCl. Okay, one of each. Next example, magnesium chloride. Okay, so our metal is magnesium. Looking at the periodic table, magnesium is right here, Mg. It is in the second column and will become a positive 2. So Mg, and we put the number first, then the sign 2 positive. Chloride, again, is just chlorine. We look back at the periodic table. Chlorine is in group 17. So again, we'll become negative one. And we don't write the one, just the negative. So we have magnesium two positive and chlorine negative one. We're gonna need two chlorine. So I'm gonna write another one here. We're gonna need two negative ones to cancel out the magnesium, which is a positive two. So our formula is going to be Mg, just one, but then Cl, two because we have two of them two negative ones to cancel out that positive two next example aluminum fluoride aluminum is our metal let's go to the periodic table and find aluminum aluminum is in group 13. okay it's pretty far from the the plus one and the plus two columns but aluminum is going to become positive three. So aluminum, A, L, and then three positive. Fluoride, okay, is just fluorine. So looking at our periodic table, we'll find fluorine, and hey, it's in the same column as chlorine they're going to form the same charge both negative one so fluorine is f it's going to form a negative one charge so we have a positive three and a negative one that means we're going to need two more fluorines we're going to need three total because three negative ones will cancel out one positive three so our formula here will be A, L, we just need one, we don't write that, F, three, because we need three of them. Okay, potassium oxide. 
potassium. Let's look at our periodic table. Potassium is in the first group, also positive one. Okay, positive one. Okay, that is potassium. Okay, oxide. That is just oxygen. Oxygen is here in group 16. It will become a uh, sorry. It will become a negative two. So oxygen and a negative two or two negative. So we have a positive one and a two negative. So when we put those together, we're going to need another positive one, another potassium. So the formula is going to become K two. Oh, K2O, potassium oxide. And then our last example, calcium oxide. Calcium is our metal. Calcium is in the second group and will become a two positive and oxide, which we just did. But we'll check it out again. Looking at our periodic table, oxygen is here again. Okay, in group 16, it will become negative 2. So oxygen, we have a negative 2. So calcium is 2 positive, oxygen is 2 negative. If we put one of each together, they cancel each other out. So we only need one of each. So our formula is just CaO. All right, everyone, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.